Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exozeros content. Today's video we're going to discuss how to efficiently farm for memory shards of your generals. So farming is all about the timing and that you don't want to waste resources while you progress or while you play the game. So this can be done by everyone, so from your free-to-play players to your advanced players. But before that, if you want to see more Exozeros content, please hit the subscribe button down below. We will be starting with our scout guide. So first would be your early game phase of the of, of playing this game. So early game is defined as playing as a beginner your first day up to your probably your second month of playing the game. So at this phase, you're still trying to level up your five star heroes and your four star heroes. So for the scout system, you're only going to be using one, two, and three star heroes for this one. Because your three to four, um, you'll be using them to transcend heroes that you'll be using. So no three to four in the early stages. Um, because it would be hard to transcend if you don't have enough copies of your heroes. And also, five stars um, are not um, are not recommended to be used in your scout system, because again, you're still building them up, and you also are transcending them uh, with other five star copies. So the next would be your mid to advanced. So once you've transcended your three to four star heroes that you're going to use. Obviously, you're going to have a lot more four stars. Like for example, here in my screen, I will be transcending these copies. So if you can see, um, the four stars are have a much higher points than your three and two stars, or even one star. So let's say, for example, if you take here the, this three star. He is only 5 points versus your 4 star which is 50 points or higher which is around 10 times 10 times uh, more with points. That is why it's more efficient to use your 4 star um, for the mid game and advanced players. So I'll try to fuse this or try to put this in the scout system. So there you go. So again, four stars are recommended. Um, but for five stars, it really depends on your roster. If you have finished collecting and transcending five stars that you need for your team, you can also use five stars here. Anyway, you're, you're required to use five stars because here for, for, for Jinai, you're required to transcend Jin. So, but I already... Um, made to made to sacrifice two gins already so that i could speed up my process because i'm uh, gin is already uh, maxed out in transcendence for me so as you progress in the game uh, four and five star heroes are much are much recommended because your one and two star one two and three star heroes will be used to be to be dismantled because you also need um, heroic tokens for your elemental enhancement. Um, the exemption here for for what you call this for your scout system would be Dorka because there aren't much four star heroes yet for Brun. So most of the time, what I would use for Dorka are one, two, and three stars except for the general, uh, the, sorry, the, the five stars, because if you can see in my roster, I still don't have enough Kylock. I still have, I still need three more for to transcend. And for Naomi, I still need, where's Naomi? Can't find her. Naomi, here she is. So I still need three as well. So that is why for Bran, I don't use five stars. But once I've finished transcending with five stars, um, I can use Naomi and Kylock already for the scout system. 
So Hei Won's store can be accessed through either Embodiment of Avarice or through your PvP. Because I at first I had a hard time looking for the store. Um, I looked for it everywhere. So I tried to look for it in the shop, but it's here. So so you have two two basically two currencies you can use for Hei Won's store to produce to 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 get memory fragments of your generals so as you can see here each general costs around 1,000 beads of greed so what you do is you do not let's say for example you reach a thousand you don't you don't purchase a general shard because number one it would depend really on what you need at that moment what if for example um, you purchased Jinai, but after a few weeks, you won't. You there are more shards available for other heroes. So, what I would suggest is you save up for for uh, one fusion. So that's 50 memory shards. So you'll need around 8,000 beads of greed for one hero to be fused or to be summoned. So try to build this up before you do that and also if you can see here you also can fuse your medal of duel so your medal of duel is um what do you call this is available every time you play pvp or pvp tag so these are the rewards and also, once the weekly rewards renew, you'll be given a lot of these as well. That is why I have around 9,000 already. So this is very farmable on a weekly basis and on, and on a daily basis. So do not use your Medal of Duel for Levy Stokes. So anyway, for your Medal of Duel, same case with the, the, the Beads of Greed, you need to be able to um buy your generals when you have enough for eight eight so eight times five thousand that's around forty thousand so i you, you need to reach forty thousand first be, before purchasing shards so that at least it's the sure general that you need during that time that you that you purchase and you fuse them so as you can see with your with your signature force um you'll need a lot of you'll need at least three copies to unlock uh, signature force your first summon your first transcendence and the extra copy you'll be placing here in the needed material so what i would suggest is to prioritize the first level of signature force which is damage the others you can do that after so i would suggest you get all of the signature force for all the generals so all the nations are now available except for greenland so you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video warden out